Hey guys, and welcome back to Splatoon. I'm Zelda Master, and in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and jump into level 16. So yeah, what you're supposed to do is actually jump down these, and it will take you to most of the levels, because all of them in this zone seem to be under the giant flying platform thingy that we were on. So yeah, this is the 16th kettle, and uh, it is... Propeller Lift Fortress, so here we go. Spin to win, a thing I always go by when playing a certain game where a certain character spins to win. If, if you guys know what I'm talking about, it's really vague, but if you happen to have an idea of who I'm referencing, uh, then let me know. It's a, I want to say it's one of the most played games on the PC and that's the only hint I'm giving uh, so you need to guess the character I'm speaking of and what game it is to begin with so yeah but I think that's a good enough hint because it should be obvious if uh, you don't live under a rock and you know what's pretty much the most popular and most downloaded PC game out there but anyways let's go ahead and take on this level and what we need to do is pretty interesting actually uh, you gotta use the propeller to move things around. I have a feeling this is gonna become really useful later on, especially with how we're going to end up getting the, um... Wow, I just lost it. That sucks. But how we're gonna end up getting the... the thing, which is a scroll. That's what I'm thinking of. But yeah. So far, we've... we've had a decent run with finding all the scrolls. Like, I've never had issues with it but I don't know it might change we'll figure out real soon so here we go so they're gonna try to attack us let's see how far this can go up all right now we're good here it's down here uh nothing good okay oh god I don't want these guys to attack me no 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 wait a second it might be up here no I guess you can just raise that platform really high up for no reason either way let's be careful but yeah, um, so far this game is really fun. Uh, I mentioned that before, you know, I've been enjoying this game throughout the whole playthrough so far. Like, no complaints. I do think the content for this game is a little eh. Like, there isn't a lot. They can definitely add a lot more. I mean, we are getting more DLC, but I don't know, there's a lot of things to this game that kind of annoy me. And I'll give you a couple examples. I'd say the biggest thing, especially since I've been playing a lot more online recently, is the, the way the stages change. So, uh, on online, you can only play two specific stages every couple hours. And what happens is when they decide to change the stage for it, uh, you get a little announcement from... Uh, uh, what's it, Callie and Mary or Callie and Mari or whatever? Uh, the newscasters. And yeah, that, that just annoys the crap out of me. It's like, is there any easier way to do it instead of having to leave your online queue and then, you know, hearing the announcement from them and then deciding to jump back in? I don't know. To me, that's just really annoying and I don't understand why they have that. And adding the fact that you can only play up to uh, two different stages. Like, it just randomizes two different stages. Ooh, is this it? This might be it. Oh, it's uh well, it's a power-up, but it's not it. It's nice. Got something. But yeah, I don't know, that personally annoys me, but that's just one thing. So, yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of other things I feel like they could have improved a lot more when making this game. Is this the max? I think it is the max, unless it can maybe go out a little more. All right. I don't know why you'd want to push it out that far. Maybe it is to get the stuff that was shown. I don't think it's anything else. I have a feeling I'm just wasting time trying to uh, to find a secret here. But yeah, I mean I'm desperately looking because <laughs> I don't want to skip it. I'd feel bad skipping the secret, which is the um, the box. Oh, it's so might be over here. There's a lot of boxes back here, so let's keep our hopes up. So here we go. All right, what's this? Shit, a bunch of crap. What? I can't... Is it really this hard to do? Uh, oh, you know what? I just realized. You're supposed to do this. Aha! 
So you get this platform to keep coming towards you. Perfect. Now let's jump on it. Okay, that was really bad. <laughs> really badly done. Try again though. But I have a feeling it would be here. There's a lot of boxes, so I can only assume that back there it will uh, we'll find it. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, you know, this game definitely feels like it's incomplete. And there's a couple things they could do to really polish up the game. And to me, that just kind of annoys me because I would have preferred to have this game perfect, you know? And oh, that would have been a cool secret if you kept pushing it and then you found the box. But I guess not. All right, let's just keep a keen eye out. We'll be looking around. It might just be this, honestly. I think I'm overcomplicating where they would be. I have a feeling it's up here. Let's see. Eh. Wait, okay. Eh. Oh my god, I need more ink. Okay. Or not. Oh crap. Go, go, go. Alright. So, is it this? Yeah, it is. How am I supposed to get that? I have no idea. Oh crap. How do you get that? Oh, never mind. Pfft. Actually, stinking simple. Go ahead and push all this all the way out. Make a platform to jump on. No, no, no. God dang it. Right, let's try again. I mean, I know how to get it. It's just not as consistent as I want to be with the paint splattering and stuff. All right, here we go. The leap of faith. Ah! What? Are you supposed to make that jump? Now I have to do this whole thing again, and everything respawns. That's the one issue here. Alright, great. Let's hit it now. I have no idea how you're supposed to get it. Huh. Alright, well whatever, let's just go ahead and bring this back to us. For some reason I'm having trouble actually hitting the propeller on this fan. But yeah. I don't know why this is giving me trouble. It shouldn't at all. All right, whatever, let's just focus on these guys. I know where it is, so I don't have to worry about looking all around because uh, we just need to figure out how to make the jump. I'm assuming to make the jump. I mean, it has to be from this because look, this seems like it's supposed to be some sort of trick. It's not really much of a trick, but let's try again. So there we go. Ink that up. Let's ink this up as well. Um. Yeah, this is definitely how you're supposed to do it. Because they have this whole platform disappear on you. Alright, here we go. Ha! Oh my god, I made it. Now, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to jump down like this. Then we're going to head up like that. There we go, my friends. We did it. I figured out the major secret. Oh yeah, I'm pretty happy. You know, doing this blind is tough. I'm just saying it's not at all. Uh, kidding. I didn't say that. But once you do get it, I feel like the stage- Whoa! whoa, whoa. No! Please tell me I got a checkpoint in between. I did. Oh, okay. Phew. But, I will die if I don't finish this up soon. So, let's get going. Keep heading up. Keep heading up. Oh, god. Oh. Wait, no, 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 no! Oh, jeez. Alright. I don't want to get a game over here, so this guy needs to die. No, he killed me! I actually got a game over! Now I have to beat this whole stage again and get that scroll. Okay, so I honestly thought playing through the stage again would make it easier, and wow! All I needed to do was kill the guys down there, and then the platform would have appeared. But I wasn't thinking, I was just trying to end off the level as soon as possible, so I got myself killed. Either way, we're back here. And look at that, my hair is on fire, or on ink, or whatever. Gonna use our special, oh yeah, this looks cool as crap. It's the bubbler, or whatever. Uh, it's actually a pretty useful uh, power-up on uh, online. But yeah, there we go. I don't think it really helps you out here. I mean, I guess if you're against those Octolings, it might be useful. But there we go, level 16 is done. And I like how the text is upside down, but this is Ancient One. Uh, so crackle, crackle. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, hold <laughs> you're holding that upside down? 
Oh, Agent 1, the new Squid Break, Splatoon reporting in, Agent 2 also reporting in, and we've got a an SOS from Captain Kettlefish. Are you Agent 3? Don't worry, we're for your team. You can kind of tell who they are. I don't want to spoil it though, but yeah. I'll be able to tell who it is, uh, who both of them are. But anyways, there we go, that has been completed. And we got the thing for it and all of that jazz. Now let's go ahead and uh, find out where the next stage is. Hopefully, oh, okay. Hopefully it's actually up here. I wouldn't know, actually. I need to find it. <laughs> we need to find level 17. And obviously I want to do them in order. So I'm not going to jump the gun here and uh, take on like 18 or whatever. I'm going to make sure I do them all in order because that's just how I am. I gotta do it like that, my friends. Let's go ahead and head up here. I have a feeling this wouldn't be it. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and jump back down here and see if it will take me. I don't know why they made it so complicated. Like, seriously, why is it so complicated to find all the stages? It doesn't make much sense. It's most likely here, though. This is it. Yep, 17. Octo Sniper. Ramparts. Alright. Here we go. It's time to squid a kid. Oh, and I love this ink color. All right. Hopefully we can actually find the thing without too much trouble. I'm not going to try so hard to focus on finding it because I know I'm going to find it as long as I uh, keep an eye out. But we're not going to have it our main focus because I feel like that's the reason why I take on these stages so slowly now. That's uh, because I'm just afraid I'm not going to find the thing. I mean, that's obviously how I play the game the first time around, and I am playing the game first time around, but since I am Let's Playing it, I feel like I should go a little faster with certain things, so I'm just going to assume it's always going to be either at the end of the level or the middle, so when I feel like I'm halfway in, I'm going to start looking for it. So right now, I feel like we're early in, and man, this stage looks so sick. Look at it. We're in the sky. It has this really cool view. It kind of reminds me of, like... I don't know, Sonic or something. Ah, it's really nice, but yeah. Uh, I guess now, well, we're gonna find it. <laughs> way too easy, way too stinking easy. Look at that, I just gotta, I gotta be an optimist, you know? And uh, no, I'm gonna find it and not worry about anything. And they're trying to trick me here. They want me to uh, squid it up when I'm on these nets, but I'm not going to. All right, so if I can spam that. All right, no, we got him, nice. All right, so, hey, buddy. Ah, there we go. Jump, get this guy, break all these. We're doing good. Yeah, this level kind of reminds me of actually, I want to say Billy Hatchard in the Giant Egg. I don't know why, and for those who have played that game, then you're awesome, because, <laughs> I used to adore that game when I was younger, mainly because it was made by the Sega team. Team Sega, I guess. Uh, which, you know, are the people of Sonic. And to me, that was so cool because I was a huge Sonic fan as a kid. Not saying I'm not now. Uh, I'm not nearly as big as a Sonic fan as I was when I was younger. Um, when I was younger, I was obsessed with Sonic. And that's because most Sonic games were amazing. But when um, Shadow the Hedgehog came out is when I kind of started steering away from the franchise. No, 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 no. Oh, God. That was really bad. Uh, and that's mainly because it was on the Xbox and not uh, a console I actually played on because I, I, you know, I only played on Nintendo. Man, this guy's so annoying. What the hell? All right, come on. Just jump. Make it. There we go. Are you serious? How am I supposed to do this? All right. Guess I gotta be quick. Ah! Alright, and die! Yeah, take it. Oh, wait, yeah, you're. <laughs> Agent 1 is actually watching me. Do this. Sweet. I got senpais watching me. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, there's totally a zapfish up there. Um, you can tell by the way they're speaking to you that they are someone we might know. I don't know. I guess I kind of spoiled it now, but I don't really care. Someone spoiled it for me in the comments, so I'm going to spoil it for everybody else that's watching. But we're like halfway through the game anyway, so it's not really much of a spoiler. I feel like, you know, it's about time. The game is soon going to tell us, maybe? I don't know. I never beat the game, so I would not know. But there we go. We have completed another level. 
yeah. We got a zap fish. We got the we got the scroll. We're doing good. You know, it feels good just 100% as we go. But yeah, all right. So I'm assuming it's gonna take me straight to the next area. But look at that. You can even tell from here. Actually, what does this say? These two cut. These two cousins from Calamari Country won Inkopolis' first annual youth folk singing contest. Huh. All right. That's not really much about the lore, but it's interesting to say the least, I guess? I don't know. It is interesting, but yeah, it has nothing to do with the story. All right, really the boss kettle just like that? Let's see, if I jump down here, it'll be something I'm familiar with. Oh, this must be it. Pretty sure this is it, because I accidentally opened up this level already looking for it. Yep, level 18, here we go. So we'll take on this one as well. I think we're doing pretty good progress, I mean, I don't know. I can't really say. As long as we're doing more than one stage an episode, I'm happy. Okay, that was horrible. Really badly played. Like I, I said earlier that, oh man, I'm improving from all this online. But <laughs> the NPCs are really getting to me, or the AI for the enemies in general. Um, huh, I have a feeling that's how you're gonna get the box. So I'm looking at this, and you have to ride this clock arm. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a box like this where you get the scroll. You're gonna have to do this exact same method. Let's see if I'm right, and I can just kind of like figure out how Nintendo does most of their things. You know, I played Nintendo my whole life. I just feel like this is something they would do for a trick. That's kind of like how when I played Skyward Sword, I just took all the old Zelda tricks in the book and just went by it. So we're gonna figure out right now and see if I'm correct. This might be it. So, or not, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and quickly run to the other side. There's no way this scroll would be that early, but it might be how you're supposed to do it. Sadly, I just killed myself trying to get it. Huh, <laughs> well, I figured out maybe the secret to this, but, <laughs> Um, I'm having a small issue executing it, which might be a problem. So let's actually wait over here. Actually, no, I'm going to quickly run. All right, come on, ink this place up. I need to really ink it up because I don't really have another chance to after I do it the first time. So here you go. Woo, jump. And yeah, wow, I was so right. It's like I, I knew it would be that, huh? I'm not gonna get cocky, but yeah, I know Nintendo pretty well, so. Not that I can ever be a game designer or do anything that they do, but I mean, that'd be awesome. But what I mean is, I'm just used to like how most, it's just kind of like you assume as time goes on. I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate with me when it comes to that, but I'm not really good at this game as you can tell. Pretty meh, hopefully I'll get really good at it, especially with online. I feel like I'm pretty decent at online. I always get over a thousand points uh, before I get my win bonus, which is 300 points, and I mean, that's definitely putting me up there with levels. That's why I'm already level 15, but yeah, what I mean is I'm usually the highest on my team, which I don't think is saying much because, as I stated before, I feel like the, um, the game is filled with... Uh, with the younger kids playing it, so I shouldn't feel too good playing it as I die. Uh, but yeah, um, that wasn't that hard. It's just I got really antsy in the pantsy, you know? That was a really weird way to word things, but whatever, I don't care. All right, go, 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 go. Yes, all right, let's avoid those guys and just keep going. Oh, you're supposed to get a key? God dang it. All right, I guess we have to go back, die. Come here. You can see me. We got the key. We have to pick it up. Whoop. Alright. And then we go over here. Now we can run and get it. But yeah. Um, do you like though how the agents are with me, telling me what to do, you know, every step of the way? That's pretty cool. Alright, so here we go. I need this. I'm gonna be finding a lot of stuff, right? Oh god. What is this? Oh no, not. 
Not octoling thingies. All right. Die! 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 Oh, I found the key. I love this power up. So far, my favorite item to use, my favorite weapon, is the um, the splatter mat splat o matic. I believe that's what it's called, and it is really awesome. That's my favorite weapon to use on online. And that's only because I'm level 15. I'm pretty sure it's a better weapon. I've seen like this really cool golden uh, gun that people use, but uh, I mean that's besides the point. Either way, the Splatomatic looks really stinking cool, uh, or is really stinking cool because it shoots really far and a lot. Uh, I did use the paintbrush, which was my favorite weapon before that weapon, and I love using the paintbrush even though you have to spam the uh, Z R button, like just. Like, that's how you play, you just spam it like crazy, it's ridiculous, but, yeah. It's one of my favorite online weapons, because it reminds me of Bowser Jr., and I'll get more into that, uh, I guess maybe in the next episode. So yeah, next time, we're gonna take on level 19, and hopefully get in the last remaining three Zapfish to take on the boss. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty exciting, uh, let's see if I can find that level it most likely will be up here right let's figure out that's 20 so now we just have to find 19. i'm gonna try to find it right now in this episode so i can just straight up jump into it without having to explain how i found it because yeah uh, i really would like to know i really dislike the fact that i have to look so hard for it but yes <laughs> seriously where would it be um, oh wait, what's this level? What What is down here? How do I get down there? Let's see, if I click maybe one of these... It would not be this purple one, because that's level... Why should it be level 20? Yeah. So it's definitely the one down there. Let's go ahead and head to it by jumping down here. And then... Oh, there we go. Found it. Alright, I will head there once I figure out how I'm supposed to. Ah! Oh, if I shot it a little better, it would have been perfect. God dang it. Now everything resets. No, actually the paint stays the same. Alright, sweet. So I'm pretty sure this is not how you're supposed to do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to make it, right? What? It just kills me. I'm going to try again because I'm so stubborn. I don't care. So, <laughs> oh wow, I made it, ha <laughs> ha, all right, now, come on, eh. yes, Woo. and level two, thir 19, whatever, has opened up for us, because this is totally going to be it, right? Yes, it is, all right, next time, it's tumbling platforms. I'll see you all then, bye! <laughs>